actively tries to annoy his own character. Head of Wizard for the Hustle Club. Okay, are you guys moving in the order that the tokens are in the corridor? Uh, no, I'm a slide farther back. Yes. <laughs> nope, don't think so. <laughs> I'm not first anymore. <laughs> Screw that. <laughs> Hallway lit. <laughs> Makuta should be back at full, by the way. All right. Okay. So whoever's moving, go ahead and move your guys. The cat can go forward. I'm staying behind the elephant man. Steve, and I mean that in the most respectful, not ugly dude tone. Huh. You were saying? Are, are you taking the lead? Sure, I can take the lead. Okay. As you get within 10 feet of that mirror, so go move back a square. Um, no, just one square. Move up one more. Um, Which shows me that I am Harry Potter. Hmm. And you've won and the house cup. Oh, what lovely. the hell is the house cup? Saving throw. I give a what kind of saving throw? You, as soon as you walk upon and you see where your your reflection in the mirror, yeah, you have to do a wisdom saving throw. Well, that's going to go real well for a very unwise <laughs> character. Okay, it actually did go you really see, well. You see, like rather handsome half elf dude, like looking really cool in that fucking armor. Oh. <laughs> and that's basically it. Oh, yeah! All right. Blackhound's going to move up. Somebody? You kicked out? I kicked out that was <laughs> Um, our DM got kicked out. Oh. What? We don't need him. Let's make sure that you shut, close up, and lock up down yep. there. And she hear a computer on. Yep. Good Lord. What happened to us and I may join and left again? I was kidding, we do actually need a DM. <laughs> I bet it's internet related. It probably is. Probably. He is, you know, here in Chicago, so. What's going on in Chicago? No, nothing. You know, there's occasional uh -huh. out, you know, down spells with Xfinity. Depends on what his carrier is. Xfinity. Awesome, dude. I so miss them. Okay, oh. I, think I must I must have dropped this cord up somehow. Yeah. All right, hold on a second. Oh, Alanis in Elvator's bed. I like it. Yeah, very much so. <laughs> That's cool. I was, a lot, Elvator is no it's longer fine. crying about it. <laughs> and there's Ashlyn Ashlyn's watching over y'all. <laughs> yeah, Shardalon yeah, is just like I give this my bless. Oh. <laughs> 
I'm into that shit. <laughs> All right, so you guys move up here. You're, you're like admiring yourselves in the mirror. And um, Elvator, you take a look at that door on the left. It looks like a big, heavy door. It's got a lot of glyphs carved on it. And in the center of the door is an eagle killing a serpent. And then there's like uh, also two stone warriors uh, dressed in loincloths and wearing panther masks, uh, which are sculpted into the doorposts. It's a little bit homoerotic, but I think you're... You're set. You're, you're very well set. Very you're well secure set. in your I'm own secure. masculinity. Yeah, I am. I am. <laughs> so um, the glyphs on the door look like that Moxtitlan language that Basil had been studying earlier. He might be able to decipher it if he uh, took a look at it. But neither you or Vicon can tell what it what it says. Yeah. Well, if if I can't tell what it says, then I'm not going to be trying to interpret it okay. so i will be ushering basil over and being like hey like if you can interpret if, if you can interpret this then go for it well first off clearly these are powerful men strong zero men they're panther masks oh wait <laughs> wait the writing um, give, me a, give me a wisdom saving throw, Basil. Damn it, I lost my sheet. Where's my sheet? Piece of crap. Okay, wisdom. Mm -hmm. Do you have advantage on wisdom saving throws for any reason? Um, none that I can think of. Okay. So you look at yourself. You see this little dorky looking guy in a conical wizard hat. You look like a that's actually idiot. how I view myself with a hat. So yeah, you look like a fucking idiot. But then uh, there's, something, there's something behind your reflection, and it looks like for uh, um, one of those uh, warriors, a feathered warrior, basically comes out of the mirror and he attacks you. Um, well, if it's the initiative, um, one second. I need to consult with, um, Ryan, can you meet me in the gaming room for a minute, Ryan? Wait, shit. I got to do it on my phone. Give me a second. No, I forgot I'm not in. I'm not in. Discord on. Mm -hmm. Guys, just a forewarning. The only ready spell I have is Fireball. <laughs> Put that out there. That, uh, it certainly fits with the amount of... uh uh. Well, what do they call it? Friend of fire some of us receive. You didn't put out uh, today?
Did you guys see the thing about the arrest warrants with Putin? No. I, yeah, some uh, international body did that. It's crazy. I heard about it, but basically means nothing. Well, it, it it only comes into play is if they're going to do like a G20 meeting and he wants to go, but he can't because it's a country that actually has that call. We will to actually bust him. Mm-hmm. There's not going to be many of those. They are living in interesting times. Yep. Okay. Um, so, uh, I don't have a token for it for you to see. So, um, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Can you see that guy? No. It's going to be, he can't see past that wall. Okay. Yeah. I didn't even see the cat anymore. Okay. So, um, yeah, go ahead and, uh, roll initiative. Just me, right? Just you, yeah. Now, <laughs> not, you know, foreboding or anything. Just you. <laughs> You're on your, a battle um, in the dream dimension. You die. What, what's your dexterity? Uh, my dex is really low. It's like, uh, 12. All right, so you go first, actually. Uh, so let me... That's kind of sad, but okay. Um, well, since I'm acting and not reacting, I'll actually cast a spell. Okay, so you see this, um, warrior come out of the, uh, mirror, kind of like Stargate. And he's, mm -hmm. uh, he's armed with, um... The uh, you know classic like Aztec war club with all the obsidian shards around it, and um, he's got a shield, and he's got all these feathers and stuff, and like an eagle um, feathered uh, hat on, and he's like ah! coming at you. Okay. You um, magic missile. Okay. We can see him shoot that magic missile. Die, mm -hmm. gas pumper, die. Mm. Eight points of damage. All right. So you see Basil freak out as he's but like as he's looking at the mirror, and he, he casts a um, uh, magic missile spell at it, um, and uh, you see like the, the the lights like shoot off into the mirror. Does. Anything happen to the mirror? Um, nothing happens to the mirror, but from what you see, it looks like you didn't see that. That's what they saw. What you see is the uh, the warrior getting hit with the magic missile. Die, gas pumper. Hmm. Okay. What do you do? Um, what else are you doing? Is, is that all you got? Oh, that's that's my attack. I have okay. a I have a reaction I'm going to use. I'm dying. To, I haven't had a chance to use it yet, so I'm dying to use it. Okay. Nuclear annihilation. Nuclear annihilation. <laughs> okay. So really nothing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I'm waiting uh, for his attack, then I have a reaction. I'm going to try. Okay. So he's going to try to attack you with his um, mm -hmm. sword. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, does an eight hit? No. Okay. Amazingly enough, no. All right. He's got, he's got a second. He's got a second attack, so he's gonna try it again. Mm -hmm. He's a plus six to his roll. Yeah. He's a plus six to his roll. Holy crap! He got a plus six to his roll. Holy crap! Was right. Twenty three. Well, then I guess I, he has to make a wisdom check because I'm doing my charm on him. Okay. And I think uh, so sorry, you can be <laughs> no, I'm doing instinctive charm. Um, he he made a attack roll against me, so I'm directing the attack at uh. <laughs> this guy. What guy? Uh, Steven. You trying yeah. Steven? No, no, he's... I'm directing the attack at him. He's making the guy attack me. He's a dick. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> you can handle it. You've got armor on. I do. Okay. It has no effect. So he he, he hits me. He, he does hit you, and let me roll damage. Take nine. Okay. Aren't you dicks gonna help? It's am I so bleeding? What? Help what? Yeah, I we have no anything. idea what's going on. Help me, you cowards! <laughs> Are you doing mime? Are you a mime? A mummer? Yeah. What? What? What do we see Basil doing right now? Well, you see him like he was about to like check out the, um, the door, but then he looked at the mirror and he was. He went into like an attack stance and he started yelling an incantation and shot magic missile into the mirror. And, you know, mm. so the magic lights just shot it down into the mirror and disappeared. And then um, he started casting another spell and it didn't do anything. And then he said what he said to you guys. Okay. Okay. Well, so. if he's if he's asking us to like fight this thing, you cowards, then... You're like, is it inside the mirror? We just can't see it? We don't see anything, right? Mm -mm. Nope. No, I guess not. You don't see anything. Is this on some sort of other plane of existence, Basil? Can you see this? Right from me, you fools! Okay. How many fingers yeah. am I holding up? Did you get that's bit by about, a werepanther? That's about all the time you have to say until it's time for your next attack. <laughs> um, <laughs> for my next, since clearly the magic missiles aren't doing it. I mean, he looked like he took damage from it. Oh, he did? It looked like Okay. Mm. I'm going to cast Shatter at him. Mm-hmm. Shatter. What yeah, is it, Basil? What is it? What do we do? Shatter, shatter. Okay. Let me roll his spell save. What kind of save is it? Mm, it's a dodge. Oh no. Constitution. Okay. He's saved. So it's okay, half. so he takes four points of damage. Okay. Now, does the mirror take damage? Yeah, there's a crack in the mirror now. <clears throat> Just one crack. The mirror, do, do I think he came through the mirror? Yeah, it looks like he came through the mirror, but he's between you and the mirror right now. And he's going to attack Just, you. Okay. If if he's sensing something that we can't see, I want to 
try and do a divine sense to see if like it's on like if it's something that's just not perceivable through through our eyes that was wrong let me oh, okay hold on a second Okay, I guess a 24 hits you. Yeah. And I'm dead. Six points. And he's going to do a second attack. Sure. 18 hit? Yeah. Okay. What's wrong with you, Sean? Take another eight. So it's a 14. 14? Okay. So my response or my. So my you see, it looks like he's like acting like something's like slamming into his body. It looks like something's like affecting him. And what were you going to do, Stephen? I want to do a divine sense. See if I can. Okay. Like determine if it's just something that's beyond our visual ranges or senses right um what's the range on that exactly uh 60 feet okay and is that just in one direction any direction or is it just any direction as long as they're here? not basically like behind a wall what if they are behind a wall then i can't detect anything okay well you don't detect anything all right, well, Basil, I cannot detect anything. Clearly, this is something that's involved in, involving your mind. Maybe you need to move away from the mirror. <laughs> you should pray more to a Shardalon. Take these nasty visions away. Okay. So... My action. Okay. Can I react? Yeah. So okay. you you hear the words from Elvator saying that this is something in your mind. That that's pretty much the only words that really made it through to you. Mm -hmm. um, you have such a high perception; you picked up on it even though you're in this illusionary state. All of a sudden you come out of it and you see yourself in your darky looking hat in the mirror, but like the warrior is gone. I take my, uh, I, I pull my damaged. cards. The damage you took is psychic damage. Okay. So, healing, I need healing. <laughs> For what? I, uh, Magic. I got my ass magically whooped. Uh, I kind of like, what happened to you? You look like you're an angel. something, but nothing was there. Yeah, there's some woman in there throwing chanclas at me. It was terrible. Um. Uh, no, he's he's actually really messed up. He's down twenty. He's only had thirty-seven hit points. He's down fourteen. He's down to fourteen. He gets the piss beat out of him. So you're like you've got a massive headache. Um, yeah. Oh no. Yeah, I look like shit. Um, yeah. At that point, I was like, "Can someone please check the mirror? And someone please heal me." Good berry, bad berry. I don't care. I need some berries. I need something. If you step you past anybody, to... I'm. Yeah, I'm in the hallway here. You step closer. To I me, can I can touch I, him, I, give I him really like five hit points, you. and then I can come closer to the mirror and I can see if I can like perceive. Okay. Something yeah, inside the, the mirror. Yeah, I'll push him there towards you, you so that he he's away Let's from the mirror, healing work, and then I'll kind of like see if there's anything going on, because maybe the mirror is some dimension dimensional door or something. I couldn't tell right. when I looked Give in the me, mirror. Um, an arcana check. Okay, that's 
not going to go super well with a guy who is a holy warrior. But sure, let's do an Arcana check. Thank you, Theranos. Yeah, that went above as well as expected. This is a totally normal mirror. You don't know what the guy's talking about. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'm back up to 25 at least, so I'm not on death's door anymore. Let uh, me know when I'm feeling well enough to take a look at the mirror. Since I'm the nerd. Okay. Oh, Vicon like tries checking it out. Uh, it looks normal to me. Yeah. Runs up and grabs the mirror and throws it on the ground. Babar's gonna go. Yeah, let's shatter it. Mm -hmm. Babar's gonna shatter the mirror. Uh, Babar shatters the mirror. Okay. All right, give me a strength. He check. he will look back at at Basil and say, "Is oh, this wait, what's wait, causing gonna... you all your pain?" Are you and afraid of this shatter thing? Wait, wait, as you approach the mirror, you have to do a wisdom check. Uh, no problem. Maybe it is a problem. We don't have a character sheet up. <laughs> uh, no problem. Well, <laughs> I can boot up your. I can do a problem. I can give you a way. You got it. You got it. I. I got it. Yeah, I got it. I just didn't have it up. Okay. If you afraid of mirror, I will break the mirror. All right. And then you pick up the mirror. Oh wait, do a strength check to get that big mirror off the wall. A strength check. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, athletics. Fifteen. That's, good. That's exactly what you needed. It was cemented to the wall, but you broke it. You pulled it off the wall. <laughs> you were a beast. And now, what do you do with it? Yeah. Hulk smash. You're gonna smash it. Yeah, smash it. Okay. You crash it into the ground. It breaks up into a bunch of pieces. It's it's in pieces now. <laughs> and now a thousand warriors, one from each shard. <laughs> Don't give him ideas. <laughs> on. Somebody saw Army of Darkness. Yep. And then you see to that door to your left. The bar. Um, it has a, a picture of a car. It's an eagle killing a serpent. Two stone warriors dressed in loincloths, wearing panther masks, and a bunch of glyphs that you can't read. Drawing sounds no longer make fun of me. You want to open the door, Babar? Do I want to open the door, guys? Why not? Do you want me to read the glyphs? It'll take me a few minutes so I can get over there and read them. Yes. Or looks back and asks if I could, if y'all want me to open the door, but he doesn't care about what the glyph says. Blackon's well, like, yeah. I mean, if you think the, the magic mirror is now destroyed, um... I thought it was a pretty cool mirror myself, but if you want to check out the door now, you're probably safe. Oh, okay, I'll go check out the door. I'll go yeah. up to it and do an arcana check. Okay, well, so I'm I'm be AFK a couple of seconds. Okay. I think I made it. I'm guessing I made it. Uh, Working the jerk. Okay, Arcana. It was not an Arcana thing. It was just oh, an intelligence thing, which you already made your roles. You can translate it. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> I should have let you have that. Good, I bought um, that one. All right, so it tells a story in ancient Mexican of a journey to find truth and light. Unfortunately, this journey ended in failure and imprisonment in the land of the dead. And as you read it aloud, the little story, the door opens up. And it's the circle of life. <laughs> it's 
Oh, that's the land of the dead. Like Hunt says, uh, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> I don't need to go in. Oh, good, land man. of the dead. I don't need to be imprisoned in no land of no dead. Land of the dead, South Florida, whatever. It's just like Arizona. Yeah, maybe okay. it's better. Maybe it's metaphorical. Maybe it'll actually mean literal land of dead. You first. <laughs> me last. I've already had the piss beat out of me once today by myself. Yep. Well, open the door. Did we, did we read right. this glyph? Yeah. The door opened. Yeah. No. No. The door opened after um, he read the, the story aloud to you guys, which was um, uh, there was an ancient journey made to find truth and light. Unfortunately, it ended in failure and imprisonment in the land of the dead. And then the door opened wide. Um, so you went in, so Vicon had no trouble following you in since you're brave enough. Anybody else? I'll follow him in, yeah. Okay. Uh, is anybody yeah. else moving down to the end of the corridor while they're going in? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and move over, guys. All right, guys, give me a wisdom saving throw from those little shards. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I need, I need 3,000 wisdom saving throws. <laughs> and go. Okay, Elvator and Babar and Vicon see that beyond the door is a wide foyer that leads into a circular room. On the south wall of this hall is a jade death mask um, around chest height. And taking up the middle of the chamber is a cross-shaped dais or dais with sets of stairs leading up to it. Along each of the four ends is, um, sorry, there's stairs leading up to it along each of the four ends. In the center of the dais raises a cylindrical st structure that appears to be made of transparent walls of crystal, enclosing an oddly carved stone pillar. The stairs that face the room's entrance are carved with the heads of many gods. The steps on the north side are bloodstained. That's the one on the left. And atop the landing stands a statue of a warrior. The stairs to the east across the room are partly obscured by shadow. The southern staircase is luminescent, appearing to change colors in the light. Tucked into each nook where the arms of the cross come together is a low shelf on which are placed small offerings, such as silver bracelets, earrings, collars, anklets, piles of coral beads, and silver and jade statuettes. Do you like warrior? Yeah, this is like it looks like he's a statue. It's like a uh, helmed uh, warrior. You're seeing statue. all these shiny gold bits and stuff, we'll mm -hmm. start scooping those into his pouch. Okay. Um, <laughs> coiled about the pillar uh, within the symbol. Uh, the crystal cylinder is uh, coatal. Um, let's see if I got a picture for you of this thing. No, I don't. But a coatal is basically a, a snake that has wings up um, just below its head. Kind of like a, a bird snake, I guess is the best way to put it. Uh, snake bird. As you come uh, and do that, it does something. Hold on a second. So you're like, ooh, silver bracelets and jade statuettes. And you start picking up that shit. And then um,
you see the quaddle turn and look directly at you, Babar, and you can you understand what it says. Um, it's not for some reason it speaks in common to you. At least that's what you think you're hearing. Um, actually, everybody hears this in common. Interlopers, you have trespassed into my sacred chapel. For this affront, retribution has already begun, for you are now breathing a toxic gas, which will kill you shortly. It is possible your actions were not for malice or greed, but ju just idle curiosity. Therefore, you will find the cure upon the stone in the middle of the dais, if you can solve the puzzle to reach it by the proper route. Choose your path wisely and act quickly. That's a lie. <laughs> How far away do, is the uh, is the antidote? Well, he said it was, um, I guess, yeah, yeah, in the center of the dais. Is it um, in like a bottle or? Yeah, he said there's um. One second. It's too high up. You can't see what's on top of it. Mm-hmm. There's a fly up there. <clears throat> Body in the room is poisoned or just me? I think it's a gas, so it'd be everybody. Hold on, hold on a second. I'm reading a description on how this is working. Um... If it's just me, then I'm willing to take one for the team. Thanks. Bye, bye, bar. Mm. You're the best, I, man. But I can <laughs> actually do do this. Oh, your monk abilities. Yes. Okay. Am I not? I am I, I'm oh, not that's right. I'm in the wrong spot. That's, I'm that's not careless, I can't see anything. I do not have that ability yet to, pu to purify my body. Never mind. Okay. Well, so how high is this dais? With the antidote on it? Um, one second. Omni dais? <laughs> Sorry. Do it is on my day, it's on my day. Yes, um, <laughs> it looks like it might be about um, 18 feet or higher. Okay, you're not, you know, you're not exactly there with a the ruler, but it, it looks like about three men high. Okay, and there doesn't seem to be any like the... climbing handholds on it, or Babar rushes through the nearest steps, which would have been these steps, and goes up. Okay. So as you do that, then um, that warrior oh, comes gosh. to life. That warrior, of course, comes of course to life. Does. So uh, everybody can uh, roll initiative. Let me clear the initiative thing. Uh, of course. Yes. Yes. Fuck. I had a 15. Ah, about where I belong. Meh. No! Whatever. Okay. 
So the bar is going up to there and um, Makuto uh, being agile on her feet actually can act before anybody else. Makuto gonna do anything? Uh, so I see it's the little warrior thing coming to life. Yes. Okay. Well, it looked like a warrior statue is actually like um, swinging at Babar now. Uh, she's gonna try to intercept. Let's see how how far is this? Oh wait. I think she can make it. It has a it's it's an armored thing, um, with a shield and a sword. Okay, hold on a second. It, it looks like an evil paladin. It's got like, you know, nothing but like a, just like a red glowing face inside the helmet. Ew. Uh, Kitty Cat's gonna gonna try to pounce. Okay. Let me beat straight. Da, da, da. Okay, let's see how this works. 22. I presume 22 hits. Uh, yes, it does. Not sure if it'll do damage, but the target must uh, take a DC 16 uh, strength check. If it's damaged, it's 10 slashing. Okay. All right. Some nice claw marks go into his armor. Okay. And did he, did they fail the? And he did fail his. Uh... Okay, so he is knocked on his back, which gives, basically puts her on top of him and gives her a chance to bite him. Okay. Eleven. So, I don't know if that hits. So he's gonna be over here. And let me put a little thing on there that signifies he's prone. Okay. Yeah. Be able to see. So I guess the idea is, but she kind of just jumps on him. All right. And then he took damage. How much damage did he take? Uh, he took ten from the from the claw. The bite was eleven. Uh, so I don't. Does that hit? I don't think so. No, it doesn't. Okay. All right. Nice move. Okay. He, um, let's see. So you're, you're not controlled, so he's going to use an action to get up. No. And what? He uses half his movement to get up. Yeah, half his movement. And then he's going to strike at Makuto. Mamadaba. Oh, 12 hit Makuto. Uh, Makuto has an armor class of 16. Okay, he's going to try again. All right, so he swings twice at Makuto, and Makuto definitely dodges out of the way. You know, like, does a little roar back at him. <laughs> and it is Aramis's turn. You you hear a battle going, and you hear the cat, you know, screaming or screeching at this uh, thing. You can see, you can see what's going on from where you are. So what do you want to do? You got some powerful shit now, so. <laughs> yeah, too powerful. I'll I'll definitely hit bad bar with anything I want. I sit out, so. Well, you, got, not to do you do have six movement, so. What's that? If you move over closer, you can get out of the line of fire from Babar. Like if you moved up to this square right here. Uh, I can't see what you're pointing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he and I both can't see anything. 
We're not yeah. enough time. We're in darkness. Okay, wait a minute. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Yeah, if you move to okay, like this. Okay, so place, if I move there. Yeah, you're not going to I can see what's happening. Spot. Yeah. And. So, I got this, like, staff of lightning bolt. Oh, yeah, the wand. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty sweet. I'd love to try it out now. Oh, I bet you would. All right. Um, when you attune to it, when you, when you attune to it, you learn that the uh, the activation word was Krakathoon. Oh, wait, what are, where are those rules? Hold on one quick sec. <laughs> what did you say the activation word is? Yeah, what's the activation word again? It's crack of doom. Oh, oh boy. You, have to, you have to yell it when you, you point it. You have to go. You're a dick. <laughs> Seven charges. While holding, you can use an action to expend one of his charges. One charge, third level of the spell. So he's got seven charges, so I can okay. Uh, I'm clear if I fire from here to hit him and nobody else, right? Correct. All right, we're gonna cast lightning bolt from the you, you, staff. You couldn't get that far. You couldn't get that far. This was the farthest you could get. What's that? This square right here is the furthest. You, yeah, I'm here. Furthest you what I'm saying yeah. is, I can see him up against the wall here, right? Yeah, you can see him there. Cool. That's all I need. Okay. All right. Let's cast lightning bolt. Sorry to be. This is a new wand for me, and it's got seven charges starting at three. So let's give it three more charges. That's level six. Don't worry. Every man likes to play with this one. What? All right. I'm gonna say the word. Krakakato. <laughs> and so, oh, wait, 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 wait! wait. That oh, that that no, it says he has advantage on he has advantage on saving throws against spells and magical effects. So he saved. Oh, uh, so he just takes half damage. But I'm throwing eleven d eight here, though eleven d six. Nice. Give me one quick sec here. Zap his ash. Plus, let's see. What did you say, Zach his ash? Zap his ash. Zap his ass. Zap his ass. Zap his ass. You got to do 11 of those. 11 D6. All right, Harry. 40. All right. So you go, and it hits him, and he. Um, all this electric, the bolt hits him really loud, makes a big loud boom, and fries him. He's all black and effed up, but he's still there. Oh. And I want to move over here just out of his sight, if possible. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, shit. I move no, in, that, hit. Uh, I'm sorry. This is, it says he has spell immunity to three spells. Oh no! And one That's of one of them. Lightning bolt. <laughs> one of them is lightning bolt. <laughs> oh, he's, he's he's immune to lightning bolt. Well, it's good to know that yeah. now. Yeah, you just found out. So it went boom, <laughs> and then the smoke clears, and he's like there, like nothing happened. Good, good to know. Babar, your turn. I go. I go. Uh, so Vavar is going to climb using his monk athleticism up the pole. And then when he gets about halfway up of the 18-foot pole that you said it was, he is going to jump down with a flying elbow on this thing. I like the mushroom man. Coming off the top rope. Yep, coming off the top rope. Off the top of the cage. Huh. Is that the people's elbow? Yeah, so monk on arm strike. 16, does it hit? All right, so you try climbing up the thing, and when you do, all of a sudden, like, this wave of force just comes out of the crystal cylinder. 
and blows you off of the thing, um, moving you over here, and you slam it to the wall, and you take damage from that force Ooh. blow. You take 10 points, and then um, give me a dex check to see if you're prone or if you're okay. Or athletics, whichever you want. Acrobatics. Acrobatics. That would be acrobatics. Right. You failed. So you, <laughs> you still failed it. You're if you're prone now. Okay, so I can use half my movement to get up because because okay. I have like, and I will use a key point. <laughs> To, I can do, I can dash with a key point. I forgot what it's called. The, what is death strike? When you hit a target, key point is that I can do extra damage. Uh, I, there's something I can use a key point with and move further. I can't remember what it is though. Yeah. Step of the wind. Step of the wind. You use one key point to dash or disengage. So I'm going to use my key point to actually extend my range, run up to him, and charge him and hit him with an unarmed strike. Ooh. Ooh, and, that's a new shit. and then I will do that. So 11 damage, and I will do one more unarmed strike for my final action. 20. That also 20. Hits. And six more damage. Okay. So 20 damage altogether. And that's um, one key point now. All right, you did it them up real good. You would have got pushed back normally, but you just pushed them up against the wall. With my charger attack, I believe if he goes up against the wall, he takes extra damage too. So let me look. Excuse me. Charger, 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 charger. If you make a melee attack and hit, oh, okay, right. or push the target ten feet away. Okay, so yes, he he doesn't move. He does not move. Okay. Runa. Oh, I, I should be down to 50 hit points, not 30. I think we can close. And start hacking away. 14. All right, that just hits his armor and doesn't do any damage. Okay, I uh, didn't do shit either. And 21 from the dagger. All right, you did a couple of hits with the Makatui, didn't do anything. Then you kind of like saw an opening um, between his shoulder and his torso. You shoved the dagger in there, and there was like a flash of light when you did it. Seem to damage him. Okay. That was nice. Good. Okay. Now the the Mahatil was really just kind of missed. They're grinding bows. It's not that mm -hmm. right because it's it's not that it was you know some kind of magical prohibition. No. Okay, no. because it is magical. Anyway, okay, good. Okay. Uh... Elvator. Elvator will move towards this freak. Mm. I'm going to go around the stage, temporarily occupy Makuto's space. Thank you, Kitty. Okay. Any time, your words hurt. I'm going to cast with my bonus action Shadow Blade. <laughs> 
And then... I shall swing with my mighty sword of Shadowblade. Come on, baby. 26 to hit. Alright. It's only one target, so I might as well use one of my Paladin spell slots to add Divine Smite for some acid damage. And shake it out! I attack. Mm. For. Eh, Ooh. that was okay. 22. 22. And okay. 7 of that is psychic, and. Oh no, 7 of that is acid, and then 15 of that is psychic. Okay. And that is my turn. All right. That leaves, that's Vicon. So, you hear somebody just start screaming like a madman. That familiar voice is obviously Vicon as he starts bounding in that direction. He occupies the same space as Babar and launches into the guy uh, with um, two handed great axe. Oops, split him in two. In rage and misses. Oh no! He can try again. Well, it hits his armor, but it just doesn't do any damage. He swings it around again, going for his gut. It, um, and with that hit, he basically cuts the thing in half. It's good. It's it's he's he's dead dead. And um. Uh, the two pieces of, uh, like, the top and the bottom of the body, like, fall to the ground. And uh, the light, with the red light within the armor starts um, uh, bursting out and uh, shaking the um, the armor as it, like, starts going into, like, uh, a seizure of sorts. And then it explodes um, in a, just a huge, big flash of red light. And you hear... Uh, like a soul screaming in pain, like Whoa! and then it dies out. And a bunch of wind flashes, blows by you, and you can feel like there was something within that armor, possibly a soul. And you know, with with all that damage, it was it was released. Uh, but it it seemed like it it wasn't a happy release, <laughs> and, you know. Seemed very pained. Good riddance to bad rubbish. Now let's make sure we cure ourselves before we leave. All right. Let me uh look back at what happens now. Okay. Okay. So, the thing disappears, and now what would you like to do? Are well, you, is Basil moving, did Basil move up to the dais? Up to the cylinder? Hey, Eric, are you on mute? Unmute yourself, Eric. Some of us put security on our phones. Some okay. of us have little reprobates who try to open up our phones and play with it during the day. All right. Did you uh, approach, did you approach yeah. the crystal cylinder? Yep. Okay. All right. Um, unlike, uh, what's his name, Babar, when you did it, um, there's no force like coming out at you now. Uh, mm -hmm. you, you saw that there was some kind of force field that like threw Babar, but like that didn't happen to you as you're looking at the cylinder, crystal cylinder. Okay, I inspect the room, inspect the cylinder, try to figure out what it is. Okay. Give me a second here. 
I will give you a cool mama taba. Anybody else doing anything? My bar is not gonna go anywhere near. Okay. <laughs> uh, All right. So as you do that, um, Bicon also walks up to it. He's interested in that that feathery snake, um, and he looks at you too, and uh, he begins to speak. I saw you yeah, passed the first test. Perhaps you are not the fools you have first seemed, but. It will take the best tool of your most clever person to breach these crystal walls. Your time is running out. Um, I ask a so, question. As he says that, um, everybody give me wisdom checks. Okay. We'll do we. Wisdom. Excuse me. Okay, everybody roll. Hold on. Almost. Ooh, 19. Okay. So everybody except their except Theranos. Uh you all feel like noticeably weaker and drained of energy. Um or Bavar got a five, so Yeah. Oh wow, that's a nasty save then. Yeah. No, Theranos got a twenty-two. Yeah. Yeah. He said that right. everybody but everybody but right. Theranos. Right. So that make it. That means like but, that's a save okay. of twenty. Oh okay. Okay. So Elvator will never succeed. Uh, anyway, go on, Matt. Sorry. Okay. So. Um, Okay, so that's basically all that happens. Um, he uh, he taunts you about the next test um, requiring the best tool of the most clever person. Uh, so and tells you your time is running out, and you all really feel like really like like your energy is draining, and you feel weak. Um, at least Theranos doesn't feel that way, but the rest of you seem to feel that way. What do you do? Can I think about it? Can I consider if this is a magical problem? Since we just had a long rest and we've only done a couple things here. Um, you can give me an Arcana check. Yeah, it's probably magic that's doing it. Do I think it might be the crystal thing or? Oh, uh, well, you don't know. You just know that, like, it's what it, so there's something magical making you feel like uh, your time is running out, just like you said. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast detect magic on the room, okay? What's magical? All right, so besides all the crap we're carrying.
there's magic on top of the pillar. Um, Cast fly, and then I go up to the top of the pillar and check it. Okay. So you fly up there, okay. and there looks like to be a bottle um, with, uh, it looks like a crystal bottle um, mm -hmm. with a crystal stopper. Okay, just can you get our Yeah, hold on. Just below the bottle, you notice there's a glyph etched into the side of the pillar. Okay, Arcana. Yes. Um, this glyph is um, an invisible barriers glyph, meaning. It's like a force field. So you're thinking there's probably a force field around the bottle. Inside the okay. bottle looks like to, it's inside the bottle looks like to be a um, aqua blue liquid. How like, high up is this from the ground? Like a, like a frost flavored uh, Gatorade. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> Can't be the lime cucumber. That's actually good. Um, how high up is this off the ground? How high am I up right now? It's like about three men high. Okay, everybody out of the room. Okay. Okay. All right. My kind of goes back. I don't want to be trapped in the land of the dead. Yeah. Better okay. pass that test. I tell everyone what I found, and I said, you, may, you guys may want to get past the hallway. I tell everyone what I found. Okay. And do I think a fireball can break that, that uh, glyph? So, yes. I do? But here's the thing. You might destroy the bottle, too. Do I think um, a... Sh one one of my acid bottles with four de four vials worth of acid would be enough to destroy it. Give me um, a nature check. Nature. Yes, nature. Okay. Yes, you do believe your acid is strong enough to dissolve the stone glyph where the magical effect will cease. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to fly up here, put one of my acid bottles up there. And uh, does everyone feel better now that we're out of the room? Hello? We there? I feel great. <laughs> okay. Not you, demon boy. <laughs> no, you, you do that. And you see that ordinarily you think it would have dissolved a stone glyph, but it doesn't. It doesn't dissolve. Okay. Uh, I let everyone know what I did and why I did it. Everybody back. No, I ask you if anyone has any ideas. I have another idea, but I'm not loving it. So if anyone has another idea. Well, give me. Um, you can use my hand to, to grab the bottle. Have we tried uh, the spell magic? Because I have that spell. Oh, go for it. So I'll, I'll, having heard his I, tale. I'm the glyph. I'm okay. gonna try. Where, what am I doing? With, where am I doing this? Put up the, the, the glyph. Description. Okay. Well, you gotta tell him exactly where that glyph is because it was small. Yeah. I get I, it. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> How much do you weigh? Uh. Let's see, I'm carrying 110 pounds of stuff, plus I'm six feet tall, uh, roughly 250. So let's say 350. Okay. So. You don't have mage hand? You have spider yeah, I do. Climb, I Actually, you know, let me tell you, I don't think it'll work, but let me try mage hand behind the barrier. Will that work behind the barrier if I cast it? No. Nope. No, because the barrier blocks anything. Barrier around it. What? There's a, there's a barrier around the bottle? Yeah, that's what I told you guys. 
Uh, one creature, object, or magical effect within range. 120 feet. So, you tell me where to go, and I'll cast a spell magic there. I, I, I point it out to you and tell you where it is. I actually fly okay. up and say, right here. Right here. It's up at the top of the thing. You see, do you just yeah. see like, there's some kind of inscription marked into the top of the pillar up there? You can't see what's on top of the pillar, but you do see the glyph that he's talking about. Um, and I want you okay. to give me a, I want you to give me a religion check. What's that? You're a druid, so you give me a religion check once you see that glyph. Okay. Dude, you should ask me for that. I've got like a seven in religion. Sorry, give me a check here. Does that come up? Religion's not one of your normal proficiencies, though. It's yeah. it is one of my proficiencies. I took it. Yeah, that's bad. I've, my religion comes back as bad. I've got okay. Arcana, History, Insight, Investigate, Medicine, Perception, and Religion. You took religion. My yeah. bad. Give What's me that? A religion. Give me a religion, Nolan. You failed. Uh, never mind. Not that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Freaking Presbyterians. All right. The hell. You are so, trying to examine right, the so, holy without the paladin. So you see the glyph, and you can <laughs> proceed with like what you were going to do, Theranos. You see the location. See the glyph. Yeah. It's just a glyph, right? Yeah, it looks like a magical right. glyph of some sort. No biggie. Let's cast a spell magic at it. Okay. At the spot oh, you told me to. You have to spell magic up there? It is right now. I just did, sir. Oh, okay. I didn't see it. I still don't see it. Can you do it again? I see one for detect magic, not the spell. What? I see a description for detect magic, but not okay. Now I see it. Okay. Uh, oh. Level. Okay. What's the spell's level? Four. Okay. Okay. All right. So you go. Whoop a doop a doop a doop. <laughs> and uh, I said a hate crime. Dispello. No, Wizzo? Ever Wizzo? Dispello. Yeah, Wizzo. <laughs> <laughs> so you see Theranos doing that, right? And then he he's like, and then he puts his arms down like it's done. But you don't know like if the barrier's there or not. <laughs> but I fly back up. All right. So you fly back over there and you see, you still see the, the bottle, the crystal bottle up there. Mm -hmm. And I, ch is the barrier still there? I touch it. Okay. Right. I hit it with my, I, I, I tap where the barrier is with like a stick. You, you, you're going to touch it with your hands? Stick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, fuck. I'm tired. All right, you, tit, you, you put it, and the stick touches the thing. It touches the bottle. I grab oh. the bottle. Okay. Um, F you, snake. All right. So you grab the bottle, and as you do that, the the quadro looks up at you, and his his eyes go big, and um, he swirls and passes through the crystal cylinder, and flies up into the air. Um, and he smiles. Um, ah, we're fucked now. What uh, What do you do? 
So you're flying up there. You got the bottle. He flew up, and he's kind of like, um, let, let me let me get him on the GM layer. I mean, the player layer. Why didn't we kill this thing? We couldn't touch it. So he goes over here. Uh, can you make him visible for me, Ryan? Bottle. What, Where's... Uh, what are we making visible now? So... Hold on a second. Yes, hold on. So you're still up here. Yeah, he's like right there. Help! Bad bar, I think it's killing time. I scream. <laughs> it's slobbering time. But, you know, I still got that, 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 that nice, lovely staff of lightning bolts. Not next to me. Okay. Um, oh, wait, you're from the room. But you're in the air. You're nowhere near it. <laughs> so... But he doesn't attack. So what do you do? I try to talk to it. Okay. Great snake god Koana Kaka Kaka. Uh, we mean you no harm. Let us pass in peace. I've got charisma, by the way. I got a high okay. charisma. Can you do have um persuasion or uh uh hold on. I do. Go okay. back to my core here. Uh, my persuasion is like plus five, so yeah. I never get to use it, but yeah. Okay. So it's 19. Is that good? That's very good. He flies over to you and he comes kind of like down to your level and he bows his head. He still has a smile and he says, He's like, ah, oh, young tiefling. You, you are a smart one, you and your friends. You have passed my test. And for that, you shall be rewarded. What? Oh, this was just a test to see if you were worthy. And you and your friends are indeed worthy. Though the one flying up there looks a bit of an idiot with that hat on. But... <laughs> yes. Inside, knows, the, inside a bottle. Trust me, he, is, he knows. Exactly. He knows. There, there was no actual poison gas. That was just a bit of my joking. And <laughs> even though you felt drained, I will now remove that effect. And so you don't feel weak and drained anymore, if you did before. I felt. I didn't feel weak and drained before either. But thanks. <laughs> ah. Well, you are particularly resistant to my magic, it seems. Perhaps that is why you succeeded. Inside the bo the bottle is, is just a potion of healing, but it's useful. Um, but then uh, you may also have something over here. And he flies over um, to one of the shelves, and there are three items there. Um, Oh There's boy. Um, is you will need these gems to operate these magic items. Uh, and he, and he, he points them out. Um, and he'll just tell you what they are. Uh, this is awesome. called, this item is called the Balance of Harmony. Uh, let's see. It's basically a scale, and it has celestial symbols on uh, one pan and fiendish symbols on the other, kind of like good and evil. Ah. And you, you can use the scale to cast detect evil and good as a ritual. Um, you have nice. to place the, you have to place the scale on a solid surface, uh, sprinkle the pans with some holy water, or place a transparent gem worth a hundred gold piece in each pan. Um, I'll just put up the description here. I think that one's going to Basil. 
Please Scale continue. remains motionless if it detects nothing. Uh, tips to one side or the other for good or evil. Um, touching the scales after casting the ritual, you instantly learn any information the spell normally conveys, and then the effect ends. So that's a pretty cool item. Oh, I like that a lot. Then, Party do you want to take it? No, no, no. That's that's definitely something for Basil. Are you kidding me? No, that's a Basil thing. If I'm making a decision, it right. goes to Basil. And he goes, and this, my friend, and he shows up a little hand mirror made of platinum, is the mirror of the past. The holder of this mirror can learn something about the history of a specific object or creature by, oh. ga by gazing into the mirror and thinking of it. And instead of uh, the holder's reflection, the mirror presents a scene from the target's past. Uh, the information conveyed is accurate, but it is random and cryptic and uh, presented in no particular order. And once it's activated, the mirror gives its information for one minute or less, then returns to normal. And it cannot be used again until the next dawn. The next dawn? The next dawn. Okay. So if you're in Norway, it's going to be like a few months. <laughs> or Alaska, six months. All right. And the third item. Grab that. Please someone grab calls. that. This is a particularly useful item for somebody who gets hit a lot. A period, a period of wound closure. Well, oh, while you wear this pendant, you stabilize whenever you are dying at the start of your turn. In addition, whenever you... Will a hit die to regain hit points? Double the number of hit points it restores. Actually, someone, one of the fighters grabbed that. I actually, I was, that's on my list for the next time we go to town. So one of the fighters definitely grabbed that. Whoever gets the wait, 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 the snake's talking to me. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> so wait, while yes. you wear this pendant, you stabilize whether you're, whenever you're dying at the start of your turn. Yeah. Hit that again. Yeah, that's how like one of the fighters should have that. We'll have a test of strength right. for that. We'll have, we'll have a wrestling contest for that one. <clears throat> It'd be probably best if Babar or I think Elvator. No, 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 no. Vi Vicon and and Babar take way more damage than I do because I have a shield and heavy armor. Yeah, they ah, don't wear armor. They just take beatings. <laughs> yeah. So um, I usually don't take that much damage because they have to roll over a 19 to hit me. Whereas their okay. ACs are like 15 Very and 16. Of wound closure. Okay. That one is owed to Bad Bar because I stole that uh, ring of uh, stone to flesh from him. <laughs> so that one goes to Bad Bar. All right. For sure. I agree. Well, there's any objections, but, no. you know, Snake, no, that's Snake is talking to me. Um, hand mirror, whoever wants it can have it. I don't think it's good for me to be carrying it around because I'm you teasing. Ugly? I don't know. I don't want to know the past or the future. I live That's for Asmodeus. That's a Basil thing to me. Yeah, that does seem like You already like have a... the thing, though. Oh. Yeah, I think the balance of harmony thing. Yeah, I would oh. give that probably to Elvator. Honestly. Okay. If that's my first choice, if I'm talking to the snake. Elvator Elvator, gets... you want it? The the mirror? Yeah. The mirror of the past. And learn something mirror of the, the history past. of a specific object or a creature by taking an action to gaze into the mirror. That might be really story. useful. Um yeah. <clears throat> do you want me to take the mirror or you take the balance? Oh, I get I could take the mirror, yeah. Yeah, I'd like I'd like that to go to Elvator. Mm-hmm. I think Sounds he really could find a use for it, considering his situation. Um, yeah. That's awesome. So I think I thank the uh, snake god profusely. I tip my horns to him, which is in, among my people the highest compliment. Mm -hmm. He goes. There was an enchantment that uh, prevented me from telling you how to uh, open um, or 
to solve the puzzle. Um, it was a prison, um, and now I am free of it. So I thank you all. And uh, and now I leave. And he uh, hovers through the ceiling, passes through it, and he's gone. Cool. Till we meet again, buddy. Happy trails. Hmm. All right. Well, let's continue All right. onwards then. Everybody has their thing. Everybody knows to write their thing on their sheets. Everybody yep. has their thing. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, none of those really fit me. And the next person at the top of the list is going to be our good friend, Rundar. Mm. Cause I got a I got a wand of lightning bolt, so I'm pretty good. <laughs> yeah, you are. Not right. having to use a spell slot for that thing. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> yep. All right. Uh, so there was a lot of like gold and stuff in this room, right, guys? We gotta loot this room. There were a bunch of little silver and jade statuettes. Um. Combined total value is a uh, fifty gold piece. All right, acceptable. Oh, it's what? The the combined value of all those little uh, miniature things of uh -huh. silver and jade come to fifty gold. Okay. And you can throw those in the bag of holding. They'll easily fit. Super good. I'm sorry. I, no, it's four hundred fifty. 450 gold. Yeah, that's 450. better. That's much better. Yeah. All right. I can't believe the spell magic worked. I'm glad I got that spell. So the uh, Kawato's, uh, you hear its voice. He goes, Finally, I return to the celestial plane. And he's gone. Celestial plane? Whoa, what? That was a god? That was a good guy? I that just was wrapped a with a guy. god? Well, he was a celestial. Whether or not he was a god, you don't know. Ah, uh, true. In my, you know, you know, way I feel about it, only Asmodeus is the only true god, so. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. Um, just to save all you right. all time, there's no other way out of this room. Okay, right, I'm gonna every wall for three hours. <laughs> well, if you gotta do that, I'm gonna take a short rest then and get a couple of my spells back. Okay. Weird thing on the map. Right, what? Short, short, short rest to do. Yeah. Okay. All the winter. Come so you get at least one hit day back, Basil, since you guys are taking a short rest. Why not? Okay, so we've explored this entire corridor to this. I'm gonna go back. Bar. Give yourself a hit die. Yeah. Who else was hurt? Nobody, I don't think. I don't need a hit die, but I mean, I don't have to spend one, do I? Uh, you're at no. 50 out of 60, aren't you? Yeah, but I'd rather save my hit die. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no problem. I'm just saying, if you wanted to, you could. You got a save from death uh, pendant now. It's got. I think that one doesn't have to be. Uh, what you call it? Attuned. Didn't say that. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. I don't know why. Unless, did, right, I read, did I not read something? Wait a minute. It is a two. Yeah, it needs attunement. Yeah, it does require attunement. Never mind. Okay, I'll, I'll no, I'll take care of it. No, he, he can attune to it on his own. Oh, I thought yeah. I, I thought it was faster with a wizard. No, no, he, it's it's bad no. bars. Yeah. Okay. Looks looks good on him. No, the the actual attuning, I thought a wizard had or a cleric had to do it. Oh, no. for the anybody can attune to a magic item. 
Uh. Well, there are certain items that you can only attune to, but um, it typically says can only be attuned, like in the item description, it typically only says right. that it can be attuned by certain things. Mm-hmm. So, right. it didn't say that, so. Okay. No worries. But yeah, you have that often in campaigns like Strahd, where it's like, can only be attuned by good characters. Into it. Very apt of wound closure. All right. Yeah. Not quite as good as that item that I had in Tomb of Annihilation. That lantern. Why is it called a periapt? What is that? A periapt is... What is a periapt? Is it like a pendant? Or is it a made-up D&D word? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> item okay. worn oh. is a charm or amulet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Charm worn in a necklace, an amulet, from 16th century. Okay. All right. So, what are you guys doing now? Okay. Well, so we came from. All right, so uh, we should go back to the area next to the gold pile. Okay. And because there was a fork in the road. Oh. And there was a fork? Well, because right here, there was a T intersection. And we went to the left, which was south, and we probably want to head north now. Isn't there another door right here? What door? Uh, right dead ahead in this corridor right next to Theranos. like we went up no that's a mirror that was the mirror oh that's the mirror okay was the mirror yeah got it okay i understand so mm-hmm. all, all right is... so this is i just closed off then yeah but it would be nice if we had explore mode turned on. Where are we? You're in the land of the little people. <laughs> You're in Vietnam. Oh boy. We represent the Aravan army? The Aravan army? Oh, sorry. Channeling my inner Robin Williams. Okay, uh, so we're in this corridor. Right, okay. Through that that door. So, so oh, okay. Oh, sorry. I'm not going first. I thought this, the cat's job was. Yeah, we had a bad week. <laughs> mm-hmm. It would be. And particularly outside. But yeah, Kitty can actually be up front. Always sniffing. Yeah. Now, yeah. Like, we know that, like, we've discovered quite a few hidden doors in mm-hmm. this temple. Yeah. So I think it would probably make sense if we were kind of casually it's like, oh, there's this long passageway. Several times there's been hidden doors along these things. Maybe we should look for that. Ooh. Right. Okay. Okay. Considering that entire area we just found was a hidden door. It wasn't actually a door at the end of the hallway. Good idea. So why don't you give So me- well I'm Tip saying that seconds. Basil should check it out because I'm hopeless at that. Okay, Basil, why don't you do it? What do you think Basil doing? Make fun of his stupid fucking head. A shot along. A shot along. He is bad mouthing me. I'm using my <laughs> magnifying glass. And I'm being as obnoxious as I can while I do it. All right. Yeah. Clearly, you need more prayers to the great dragon king. 
Yep. And I'm going to be as obnoxious as fucking possible. So, usual self. All right. So, you see something right here. What? You notice okay. something right there. Like, oh, look at this. Yeah, there we go. Hey, there's something over here. You guys should check it out. Oh. Good job. How do you open it? I don't Who's know. Let me nibble. investigate. <laughs> Who's got nimble fingers? Uh, 21. I do not have nimble fingers. I have strong hands. I am good for I got pushing. a 21. So. Okay. So, um, it looks like um, it's a, a weighted door that if uh, you push it uh, downward um, with a little bit of momentum, if you can somehow get, you know get that part of the stone wall to move downward, that it'll it'll just start opening up. Oh. Okay, I tell the, the large thundering people how to do it. I shall do it. Right. And I move my happy ass out of the way. I am the largest and the thunderest. <laughs> and I serve the most glorious of all zombie vampire dragons. Alright, so give us an athletics check then. Marvelous. <laughs> all right well, I, I stubbed my oh, toe no. you're not that strong let me do it Shardalon is weak but I am not I have failed to Shardalon a Shardalon is worth praising all right Icon opens it he pulls it down and then it just starts moving on its own and slides down. So now it's flush with the what? floor. And you see a corridor that goes and it goes up ahead about 10 feet and then turns left. Oh, look at that. A corridor and it's 10 feet and turns left. Yeah. I've never seen one of those in here before. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it turns again down here, and then there's another door. You hear Vicon call from inside. Okay. Let me see. You guys want to go this way? Mm, yeah, sure. We yeah. might as well go down the secret down. passageway. That's I how can't it. see it, but yeah, lead on, McDuff. It's right here. All right. Just move it. your token through there. And everything's green. Right there. That's a rune our moves through. I can't see anything. He's got oh. the light. That's better. Shit. Hold on a second. Sorry, Mo. I gotta it's actually I'm quite just gonna follow you. <laughs> yeah. My okay. dark vision doesn't work for some reason. Huh. Yeah. Okay. All right, so you walk through this narrow corridor that snakes and it goes to a door. And uh, some of your uh, friends have already walked into the room. Um, and Amber Hayes drifts in this room, um, ah. which is unoccupied. And strangely shaped and colored mirrors hang on the walls. And a large oblong stone basin stands in the middle of the floor. The basin is about 10 feet long, 5 feet wide, and 3 feet tall, and it's filled with a steaming golden liquid. Sounds like a urine trough. I was just about to say. Hi, <laughs> the red mirror on the eastern wall seems to be composed of fiery glass and flame framed in bronze. Light beams are broken by the mirror into myriad flames, and ghostly shapes seem to flicker in its depths. 
On the northern wall are two mirrors, a striking black one of obsidian, framed in lacquered wood, and a stark white mirror with a wrought iron frame. The black mirror has a distinctive earthy order and the blackness of subterranean caves, but it seems of crude construction and reflects objects only when they're close to it. And the white mirror has a pungent odor of nutmeg and spice, and its depths are gelid and smoky, whatever gelid means. The mirror that hangs on the western wall is in a stone frame and is blue in color. Reflections in this mirror ripple as if the viewer were looking into a pool of water. What is everyone doing? Hmm. I kind of like, oh, is this where you can uh, take the whiz? Hmm. He starts like whipping it up. Stop. Stop. Stop that. Stop that. What? <laughs> I make no judgment for you, my Somebody's reflective basin. Okay, Matt, we are going to cast detect traps. That is you a good cast plan. detect traps? Yes. And, and how are you going to do that? He'll cast detect traps and I'll cast. Oh, like are you like? Do you know a magic spell that can do it, or do you have? An yeah, idea? He, has, he has a spell called detect traps. I have a spell called or find traps. I'm sorry, not detect traps. Find traps. Yeah, find and traps. I'm going to do divine sense to make sure to see if there's anything evil. Here we go. Let me, let me read this. So I got that up there for you, Matt. Okay, I'm reading it. Okay. Yeah. All right. There is a trap present. Okay. Do I have an idea where, and how about this, the general nature of the danger posed? Yeah, you don't know where the trap is, but um, there's something in here. Something like the right immediately in front of you, like you feel like um, the golden liquid can immobilize you somehow. Hmm. There's something wrong with the liquid. Don't eat the yellow snow. Don't eat the yellow snow. Um, Why? I think it will paralyze you. And um, you feel like the blue mirror will, will take you somewhere or move you somehow and the blue mirror might be a teleporter of sorts what now remember this this um it it it, it, it finds traps so right if it's a teleporter then it's a teleporter trap it, right, it's, it would send you somewhere bad. Like, <clears throat> like possibly, I don't know if this would lead to the area we found on the level below. Uh, the, let's see. Like, that's just a guess. Or it might put us into a wall. Right. The white mirror can hurt you somehow. You're not sure anything beyond that. Uh, the black mirror um, white mirror is pain. The 
black mirror takes something from you. Okay. And I don't know that. The red mirror burns you. Red mirror is fire. Black mirror is a thief. Yeah, I say we keep going. <laughs> like that room. Is anybody going to do anything here? <laughs> anything at all? I'm just going to give a general look around, like in this area over here. I'm going to examine all the mirrors and do an arcana check to see if I know of anything like them in the that I've read about. I'm staying as far away from him as possible. I'm looking for any kind of plant life or flora. Okay. Um, you're not I suppose I'll follow him flora. looking for plant life and flora so I can destroy it. Right. <laughs> you do not see any plant life or flora. And what are you doing, Basil? I was going to inspect, I'm going to try to examine the mirrors from a slight distance. And okay. realize if there's anything I've heard about like them before in magical history. And I rolled a 24. Um, and I'm staying as far the fuck away from Basil as possible. Okay. I've learned my lesson. All right. Well, definitely enchanted mirrors are like a common thing um, with with wizards. Um, sometimes they're, they're mostly for used for scrying purposes. Um, but they're also used for traps and, uh, they can be activated by looking into them that much, you know, so when you're inspecting the mirror, are you going to be looking at like the, the reflective part of it or are you going to no, I'm trying to, I'm trying to understand the magic behind it to see if I can determine what it actually is without, without actually getting sucked into it, whatever the hell it is. I've already gotten the piss beaten out of me by a mirror once today. I don't need another. Huh. All right. Well, um, you feel that, like, unless you interact with it physically or look at the reflection, that um, it will not activate the magic. So you said the, you said the red one was uh, fire, right? What's the white one? Fire. That's Ruinar. Wait, the white one's fire? Ruinar, the white one's fire or the red one's fire? No, the red one is fire. Okay, what's the white, the white one? Is painful. And the black one, we don't know. Is a thief. It's a what? A thief. It takes oh, a thief. Off. And what's the last one? Uh, teleport. That was the blue, right? Yes. And it moves you or takes it you. moves you. It is Kelgon, it takes you away. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How about we save taking away? Give me a one, two, three, four. Roll a um four perception checks. Or I'm sorry, investigations. Um Basil. Okay, I'm using my magnifying glass. Okay. So 27, 27, 27, and 17. Okay. Um, you see, um, on the wall behind the blue mirror mm -hmm. um, seems uh, in, in, in the stone. Okay. Yeah. Um, so say like it's connected. So it's not concrete. It's not cemented to the wall. It's like, it looks like behind the it's, it's the mirrors are fixed to the wall. But behind that wall, it looks like there's seams of, of another doorway. 
Okay, I'll try to open the pop the door. See if I can figure out how the door works. Okay. Uh, perception or investigate. All right, so the mirror slides to the left. Okay. And um, something comes out into the room when you do that. Hold on a second. What my mentor is saying to me right now. All right. A big, like, um, jelly comes out and it drops onto the floor. A big gloop of goopy goodness. And it's um, a yellowy color. Ochre, if you want to be specific. Um, and it's a big jelly. Hey, Ryan, can you make that token visible? Anybody tell me how to do it myself? Uh, yeah. Do you have the... Uh, go into the left-hand corner. Uh, there you go. My what? goodness, what the heck is that? It's a big yellow jelly. And yeah, it looks, it looks, like a, looks like butterscotch. Don't yeah. eat it. it. Might taste like it, too. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> drink the jello. Everybody roll initiative. Okay, oh, here we go. Twenty-three. Ooh, sixteen. Wait. Is the thing up? Oh, mm -hmm. wait. Oh, Damn it! Shit. I actually got a good roll. Yeah, that doesn't count. <laughs> wow. Try it again, Bucko. <laughs> the first good roll I've had in forever. Yeah. Wait, oh, never mind. Better roll. Well, mine got worse. I hope this thing is super slow. Oh, mine did not. I did it wrong. Darn it! Well, the thing rolled really low. Mm-hmm. Fifteen then. Boo. Yep. Okay. Alas. Like... Y'all hear me? Yeah. We can hear you yeah. now. Yeah. Okay, I've been talking for the last hour. Nobody, nobody said anything. <laughs> so, what do we know about jellies? Um, red. Oh, we don't want fire. Do they like fire? Know. Anybody know? I don't know. No, I don't you probably don't want to come. Uh, some have some. I I think like slashing weapons don't work, or pointy weapons don't work. You need like hammers. I think, but I don't know which is which, and I don't know what oh. the character would know. Anyways, Ooh, I'm trying to roll initiative for this thing, but it's not showing up. Well, you can always right click to add turn. Right click. Right click on the token, and the very top mm -hmm. option for you will be mm -hmm. add turn. It says edit, paste, or undo. Okay. Oh, I see what happened. Okay. Trying again. That works. Okay. So Basil, you um 
got an initiative. Um, you see yep. this nasty yellow snot come out of the wall, and it seems alive, and it seems like it wants to kill you. It looks like it wants to absorb you and eat you. So you know, how close am I to it? You're like right in front of it, melee range. <laughs> Oh, mm. in that case, um, I'm going to fly away. What? Run away. Run away. Up to, are you going to okay. get an opportunity to attack if you do that? Well, it's going to get an attack on me anyway. I don't, like, I'm not a melee fighter, guys, so. So you can risk it. It might miss you. Well, uh, yeah, I'm going to take a risk as I fly away. Okay. Let me, it's going to try. Uh, okay, so all right. A big tendril of launches out kind of like a tentacle of sorts and looks like it's trying to grab you. Uh, and let me roll. I think it missed. It did. did it right. did. And for my reaction, um, let me see how, how big of an yeah. area would a fireball take up? Well, 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 well. This entire well, room. Hold on. It, hold on. Would it really? Pretty much, yes. It's yeah. like Damn 20 it. foot radius. 20 foot radius, yeah. So hold on. All right. It, it gets one more. So he's going to try again. No, actually, hold on. If I if I targeted it right here, it would completely engulf two of you. Okay, it looks like that. <laughs> it would completely engulf oh, two of you. Does the 18 hit? It's not like it's a bad thing. It does. It gets, it gets <laughs> two opportunity attacks? No, yeah, that's great. Right. I'm sorry. Yeah, opportunity attack, it doesn't. So, okay. Okay, so it missed. All right, so now um, it's my turn. Yep. All right, and I'll, and I'll let you know when I want to do my uh, my action. Boy, kind of you got. Mm -hmm. He's got an idea, but I'm going to check to see if it's something that can be done.
Yeah. I can't find the information. So instead, he's just going to run up here and he's going to slash at it with the uh, his magic great axe. And it just goes through the jelly and it doesn't do anything. And seeing, seeing how that, that doesn't work, he uh, goes one, two, three, comes back over here. Winter. Overture? Soviet deal. Overture. They had but it was not that. Overture will the rush there. this evil thing. Quellish him! That's right. I shall summon my shadow blade. Mm -hmm. Shing! Swing! Wait, different thing. <laughs> and then I sell swing at him with my swinging swing. stick. Okay. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. That's right, you're not. 18. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Ignore ignore the top bit. Uh it's eleven damage. Because I didn't do Divine Smite. Okay. All right. So it does damage it. It like it looks like it does a burn slash right through it. Boom. Some of the jelly just like fries up real good. Yeah. And you hear it like. <laughs> it didn't like that. Excellent. Convert to the will of a Shardalon creature. And you Ooh. may be saved. You want that in your church? We don't have a church. Mm. So it's going to sleep in the bed with you and get in all your crevices, huh? I see how you, you know, roll. You know, like anything to spice up the bedroom with Alanis. Mm. Wow, it's your jelly. <laughs> Bang, banger. I'm done with work. Oh, no. What happened? Hmm. My description of the map areas is gone, and I can't reload it for some reason. I have to reload the whole thing. Like, reload the whole page. Hit F5. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't think you're ready for this, Jenny. <laughs> Who did that? Oh, wait. No. <laughs> Always room for Jello. The Dragon's movie came out tonight. Mind, not tonight. It comes out the thirty first. What? The D &D The new dungeon. Yeah, the uh, new D and D movies. I heard it got really good. Yeah, I heard it. It's like it, it absolutely does not suck. Someone gave me a promise. It absolutely does not suck. Right. Like I will let you know tomorrow. No, but I got a promise from like a like real close friend. It's oh yeah. Whether it, sucks. Not suck. Whether it sucks or not, I'm going to watch it. So mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, that's why I sent you guys that thing about Amazon when I saw it pop up. Yeah, I'm dying to see it. It's why I got all like my work done tonight. I don't like the Valkyrie chick, but um, hey, otherwise, otherwise she's a barbarian. Would, she's a barbarian, but she played Valkyrie in Thor. <laughs> she what? Like a... what? No, she didn't. That's not the girl that played the uh, Valkyrie in Thor. No. no, Michelle Rodriguez is the barbarian. Sorry. Yeah, she's in Fast and Furious. Yeah. Okay. Hey. It was the same girl. Uh, All right. Yeah. So no, you... Michelle Rodriguez. What do you? Do? What else are you doing, Elvator? Uh, that's gonna be about it because that was my bonus action, my main action. 
Okay. You damaged it. I didn't like it. Kind of figured. Uh, we're going to try arrows. Okay. Mm. Thunk, thunk. I don't know if they will do anything, but we will find out. We're going to try Let's see. Are they, are they magical arrows or shot from a magical bow? Neither. <laughs> oh. But... You can draw back your bow. Okay, the second one, if it can hit, will hit the first one missed. Do I even bother rolling damage? Uh, I gotta reload this creature. Hold on. His description anyway. Wait. Um. How does... Do you have disadvantage? Is it called piercing damage? It would be uh, piercing damage. Piercing, yeah. All right. So, it does do damage. Let's oh! See. Six. All right. And, uh, what oh, and, I, and uh, do I have was it an extra action? I think, right? So you hit on a one. <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it comes an eight, but yeah, your die roll without the bonus was a one. You still hit it. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. So then another seven. All right. Yeah, I guess it's just a big pile of goo. Uh, and I think I can do this as an extra action at the end of my turn. Let me double check. As a bonus action. Okay. So we're going to cast Hunter's Mark. Okay. So now you're like really focused on him. And who is next? Oh, so it's like Hex. Yeah. Kind of. Theranos. Theranos. Oh shit, it is my turn. Sorry, one moment please. I think... I think we're gonna cast a little bit of something I like to call... Blight. Ooh, that sounds mean. So I want to step over like closer. I want to hit it with my friends and cast blight. Uh -huh. Put the spell description up. Eight. Necromantic energy washes over a creature of your choice. He saved. So he takes half of that. That's 19 necrotic. 19 necrotic. So the energy sweeps over it and he screams. <laughs> kind of like that. And uh, it burns off a good portion of that jelly. Oh, I like blight. <laughs> yep. Um, see if there's anything. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much it. He took a lot of damage. What? He took a lot of damage, but he's still there. No, oh, he's still kicking? Yeah. Time yeah. for a little bit of bad bar. He's going to run into a belly, slash, belly splash on top of him. Okay. We'll do that. I missed. Well, I got an 11. This is 11 hit. <laughs> what kind of damage awesome. is it? It's gonna be Babar damage. Um, it's gonna, I guess, bludgeoning. Bludgeoning. And okay. yes, yeah, magical since I'm 
uh, monk of my level. He's and... a magical monkey puncher. puncher. Seven what? damage plus the charger feet, which would have been add five to it, so twelve damage. Okay. All right. As you punch it, you take a d6 acid damage. I didn't punch it. Well, then what did you do to it? I ran and like jumped on it, like body right. slammed it. As you jump and body slams it, you took a piece of success and damage. Okay. And you get a couple of little burn holes in your, your orange uh, tunic there. Oh. And it's it's all like flattened and, and mostly burned up and dead. But there, behind uh, where the mirror was, there's a corridor back there. Mm, it's a little thin, narrow corridor, and it looks like it turns to the right. Let's go. But well, Bar is the only one who sees that, by the way. Oh, yeah. Kitty time. Unless somebody, yeah, else, right. joins him. Unless somebody else joins him over there. I'll fly over no. there. Well, I, will tell, I will tell him, yeah. Okay. Yeah, indeed, there is a corridor over there. Okay. So, what would you like to do? I'm going to fly down the corridor or fly into it and see what I see. Okay, so you're floating in the air and you go in the corridor. And... Mm -hmm. Death, instant death. <laughs> it turns, it, it snakes a little bit, turns right, then left again, and then there's another door. Is there anything going the other way? Um, you tried to flee, Basil. There's nothing going the other way. Who else is coming? How narrow is this passageway, please? Is it five, four feet, five, five feet? feet? Five feet. Thank you. Oh, we're going up there? Door? Hold on. I will. If you don't want to open the door, Basil, then I will. I'm good. Alright, I'll, I'll open the door and go through. Okay. Lovely! <laughs> There's an octopus. Alright, in the center of this diamond-shaped room is a dais on which a weirdly formed altar rests. The altar is made to resemble a many-armed and beaked octopus-like creature with a large purple red stone in its forehead. The altar and floor are covered with dust. The walls of the room are decorated with paintings of the sun and moon in motion. Other, other images show people standing about a temple making sacrifices of flesh and blood, while the figure of a priest holds the heart of his latest victim above his head. Sounds like a, a room that a shard of Lund would like. I'm going to divine sense this place. Okay. Party to me. Um, you do not sense anything divine. So or fiendish. He 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 senses both things. Right. He doesn't sense anything. Okay. All right. Well, if I'm not sensing anything. Then maybe we can look. Babar for runs up and takes the jewel. All right then. Babar runs up and takes the jewel. All right. Or tries to at least. Mm -hmm. Do it. Do it. Sparkly. 
what you need. What do you need? Do it. Take the jewel. Take it. Uh, yeah. Do. I'll run up there and take the jewel. What doom has he created, Matt? Hold on, I'm checking. All right, give me a wisdom saving throw. All of us are just Babar. Just Babar. Just a dumbass. <laughs> this should be fun. Bar needs a wisdom saving throw. Monks usually have good wisdom. Mm. Well, okay. Yes, I, I think I, I think I did have good wisdom. You do. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Give me that jam. Yeah. So we can. Babar grabs it. Babar grabs it and look. Have you already got the gem that you're looking for? Oh, yeah, I wonder if this Steven, is it. Steven, you already got your gem. Um, well, no, the gem that I wanted was from the forge. I don't need another gem, I need to consecrate something. Then Babar will look, look at you and say, Look, I got one. Too. All right, <laughs> it's 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 um. Nothing happens to you when you touch it, but it is like it seems to be stuck there and it has to be pried out. Um, you may be strong enough to do it, but you have to give me an athletics uh, check. Or strength, which whichever. We don't have athletics. Okay, you pry it loose. Good Um, it is I'm sorry, give me a moment. It's a purpley red stone. It looks like it's uh, about the size of a tennis ball. It looks very expensive. And it's now yours. I walk over to you and you've made me the happiest wizard in the world. Mm -hmm. Anything else, anything anybody else is doing in the room? So is this actually an altar? Oh, wait, 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 wait. This has been too easy so far. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Um, in we addition to that, besides you, you, got the gem, you, die. you, you pried the gem. But um, you did bring the octopus to life. <laughs> and, uh, you, uh, it, it grapples you with a couple of tentacles, or at least it tries to. Okay. Uh, you get an escape uh, chance uh, um, for that. Do you want to roll um, to escape the grapple? OK. Des describe how it's grappling us. No, it's just grappling Babar. Nobody else touched the octopus. Oh. So Babar got... Uh... No, give me a athletics. You're escaping a grapple. That is or acrobatics, but that's fine. It is acrobatics? No. It's either. I think you can use either. Oh, okay. No, that's fine then. That was fine. So you, yeah, you escaped uh, getting grappled, um, but now um, we'll know what let's see. Micro.
since it failed to catch you, it just returns to like its statue form, and then it, it grows dormant. It goes dormant again. Weird. Good crap with me. Does anybody else want to do anything? What else is in this room? Nothing. It's real small. It's probably like 10 squares big. Tops. Does anybody else want to touch the octopus or? Hell no. Not really. Okay. Anything on the walls? Um, Paintings. Just the artwork. Okay. Paintings of the sun and the moon in motion and making uh, sacrifices of flesh and blood. And a, a priest holding a um, a heart of his latest victim above his head. Yeah, who doesn't want sacrifices? Okay. So if nobody does anything else, uh, we will stop there for the night. I guess it's a uh, twelve ten Eastern time. Okay. Hope you all got some amusement tonight, some entertainment. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. These uh these dungeon crawl adventures tend to be like role play light and more like, you know, just combat stuff. So right. I'm hoping I'm hoping after this adventure we can do something with a little more role play. I've already looked at I'm gonna run the next one. I've looked at it. It's it's a short adventure, but it's very much a dungeon crawl. Well, yeah. all of the Yawning Portal is a lot of yeah. dungeon crawls. Because we it's... don't necessarily have to do Yawning Portal. We could do something else. Right? I, I kind of like, I mean, I like where these are. I mean, I like the adventures. They're fun. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm willing to do whatever the group wants to do. Sure. But, um, yeah. For me, the dungeon crawls are, are, aren't really role play um, focused enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, I wish there was a little bit more. That's all I'm saying. So the the dungeon is there for you to build the role play around. You have to. Well, like, I, I, I understand what Matt is saying because it's it's yeah. difficult when there's basically the, the NPC the interactions <laughs> are exceptionally limited and it's just yeah. like combat puzzle combat puzzle and then it's like npcs have like three lines to go off yeah. of so like right. <laughs> once like we are i don't know probably close to half i would say we're probably a little bit past halfway through yawning portal and we have like going via the the general discussion like right now we are at level seven and we don't have anyone to go pa like to DM past dead and Thay, which means like we could technically start when I stop when I'm done mine or when I'm done dead and Thay, and then we could all pitch in on a more role play heavy campaign, but in a more role play heavy campaign, it's best to have one dedicated DM mm. instead of like the reason that we did this one is so that we could sort of all swap out and everyone would have an opportunity to play and everyone would have an opportunity to run. Mm -hmm. So, like, if we were to have a bigger, like, overarching campaign. Uh, we'd have two main, well, like people playing, people having experience with a game is not the end of the world, mm -hmm. but like it does take away some of the mystery, but it it just depends like if someone was willing to, to DM the entire campaign, because we all know that these games do for the most part, take up a good portion, if not an entire year. 